Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a curved line easily in Cricut Design Space. So all you have to do is come to the text tool and while here, all I do is click on the dash line and make it about that long, as long as you'd like and click off of it. Now this is a text since I used um, the dashed line. So I can come up here to the letter spacing and change that so that they're touching. And the other thing I can do is I'm just going to duplicate this twice. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one first. And since it is text, I can curve it. So I'm going to go ahead and curve it. And I'm going to curve it down a little bit like that. And I notice the um, pieces aren't touching together. So I am going to go back to the letter spacing and change that so they're closer together yet. Okay. And now I'm just going to bring this one up and I'm going to maybe letter space it a little bit less since I see that was needed. And I'm going to curve this and I'm going to curve it up. And then I can just join, join these two together. And the last one here, I'm going to sh shorten it a little bit because it will go off my screen. And I think I'll just curve this one down after I change the letter spacing again a little bit. And just come up here to the curve tool and curve it down. Just like that. Oopsie. Okay, I changed that one when I changed its size. I changed it proportionately. That's why it's skinnier. So let me delete this one. So let me make one more. I'm going to come back to the text tool and hit the dash. I'm just going to make it that long, like maybe two more. Then I'll just come up here to the letter spacing and space them much closer together. Okay, now I'm going to curve this one back down. So come to the curve tool and curve it down. So I could make a line like this to use however I need to use it. One thing I would do is see I'm having a little trouble making those line up just perfectly. So I'd come down to this tool on the bottom and zoom in so I can see more carefully. There, that one looks pretty good. Okay, and let's go over to this one. Maybe zoom in just a little bit more and get this one to match up well, pretty well. Okay, there we go. All right, let's check out the other one still. It looks pretty good. I just moved it a little bit. Okay, that's all you have to do. Then what I would do is go to select all and weld them over here. And there I have a nice long line that's curved that I can use for whatever I like. So it's as simple as that. And of course I could take text if I wanted to and just kind of manipulate the text so it would fit here. So like if I put my name Okay, I hit the caps lock accidentally, but that's fine. And I could bring it up here. Now it won't be like in Silhouette where I can just touch it to the line and it will change. But I can go to Ungroup. And I can one by one manipulate these so that they match the curve. So if I want my text to go on a specific kind of a curve, this is how I can do it manually. 
pretty easily. It just takes a few minutes in Cricut Design Space. Oops. So I'm basically looking at the base of the letter and making sure when I twirl it that it matches the slope. And I just bring it down. That's pretty good. The Y looks a little weird. That's fine. So now all I have to do is pull this away and I have that in the exact way I want it. So of course I would go like this and weld it and I could attach it, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on using your Cricut machine to make a uh, curved line and how to put your text on that curved line. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and share it and subscribe. Check out the links down below if you're in the market to buy something or you want to join our Facebook groups or Patreon. So thanks again. Bye-bye.